Happy Halloween, Taurus. Welcome to your reading. This is a bonus reading specifically for today. All right, I did do a poll earlier and you guys wanted this bonus reading to be about what's happening within the next few months, okay? Between now and the end of the year, okay? So let's see. Let's dive in. Please, Spirit, for Taurus, what can you tell us between now and the end of this year? Please, Spirit, for Taurus. Oh, yeah, Magician in the Mirror. Let's get one more. I have a lot of cards for you today. And we also have the Healer of Ages. Ooh, very interesting. Okay, I will show you. Don't worry. Um, let's get you one of these. All right, for Taurus, please. Ooh. You have regeneration here with the tarragon, tarragon, whatever. <laughs> All right, so already that's quite big. For a lot of you, like these two have never really come out together, so it's very interesting. Some of you Tauruses could, again, like be a healer of some sort. You guys could definitely be in the public eye with this energy. Like the way he's standing is really, maybe you guys do some sort of spiritual stuff for your career or maybe it's something that you just do as it's just your person you know it's just your personality magician in the mirror healer of the ages it feels like you're calling something into existence i can't help but feel like the positions that these people are in is you're kind of calling something in a power in from spirit so whether your intuition is definitely getting deeper and you know you're getting more connected to source to spirit to the universe to god all right, the magician in the mirror as well is about be careful about what you believe though as well, okay? Be careful of just because somebody appears to you as somebody who looks super, um, not innocent, that's not the word, but like super powerful or I don't know. It feels like you guys might really kind of come to terms that you might put somebody up on a pedestal and they might not be the person you thought they were. That's that magician in the mirror here. All right, and healer of the ages. These are very, very powerful. Some of you definitely are here to be some sort of spiritual leader or teacher. And maybe that's what's leading towards the regeneration. As you can see, there's this light coming out of his chest here as well. So you guys are really leading with your heart around this time, whether it's for the collective or whether it's just for yourself and your life. All right. For some of you, there might be some like health issues coming up here. But again, Healer of the Ages tells me that you are going to be healed. So if you're already struggling with that, then that feels good. Like it feels like you will be healing whatever that is or going to a healer. All right, let's 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 carry on. Let's dive in. I want to pull you. This is just coming down. I probably will leave it down in a second. But all right, let's get you some. Let's go into the tarot. Then we'll pull out some more cards after that. All right. So present energy, please, for Taurus. All right. We have Queen of Swords. You guys are in your in your very logical era. All right. With the seven, Queen of Swords with the Seven of Cups, you guys are really calling crap out. That's what it feels like. With the Seven of Cups here, with the Queen of Swords, she has a radar for BS. Like, she is not engaging in anything that does not resonate she can see through things very easily which is i'm describing you as your energy you guys are really calling things out within this time especially when it comes down to other people's again bs that their bull crap whatever you want to call it <laughs> uh, seven of cups is illusion it's confusion it can it can sometimes be again like people trying to trick you sometimes it's just about not really knowing what options to take moving forward and if you do have a lot of options in front of you just like this person does you will be feeling very logical and again looking at the truth of the matter you're looking out the evidence um to pick the right situation for yourself but let's see for a lot of you again you're, you're really detached from your emotions i'm gonna be honest not in a bad way at least i can't see it being bad at the moment it feels like maybe your emotions have kind of gotten away of things maybe your emotions kind of cause an illusion for some things whether that's from people pleasing and you ended up being walked all over or whether it is just like feeling a bit lost and now you're really finding yourself so the energy that you're in currently is very powerful let's just get one more or two or three <laughs> all right you have justice so very strong libra energy coming through for you all right this may be something that's happened since the libra season 
All right, two of wands and the knight of wands as well with the justice card. This is very interesting. This feels very much like karma kicking in. So if you, first of all, if you've been dealing with legal situations, there definitely is a decision being made here um, or that you're making from a legal situation that's going to make you move forwards, whether it's a winner or a loss. The justice says that it will be made accordingly. All right, it will be made in a just way. And it does feel like there's some travel coming through for you. Or if it's not literally legal situations... Yeah then it will be to do with you know comic contract comic cycles here with the justice card or karma coming away taurus and it is going to make you make a decision some of you guys might be wanting to expand what you've already been doing you know pick another role for some of you or you're just looking into your future and wondering what it is that you want next okay with that two of wands and how to gain more out of life whatever it is knight of wands tells me you are going to go and get it so again if you are if you've been struggling with confusion or not really being certain, it does feel like very, very soon, because this is your present energy already, very, very soon you are going to get very clear on what it is that you want and what you desire. Maybe you're already doing the research into it. Maybe you're already kind of calling the shots here. Um, you will make some sort of move, whether that is physical movement with the Knight of Wands or, you know, you're going to be traveling somewhere. This looks very good for you. But we might clarify as we go through. Actually, why not do it now? All right. With the Queen of Swords, let's clarify this for Taurus. Some of you, I don't know if you're getting new beads. I don't know what they mean by that, but that's why I'm seeing. It could be jewelry. It could be anything. With Magician, maybe you make jewelry. Who knows? With the Magician and the Queen of Swords energy, that is very powerful, my friends. And I, I don't say that lightly because being in a very logical it's not just logical because sometimes logical does not resonate with the magician um i mean it in a sense that you're being quite you're being very reasonable you know what you can manifest you understand the power of that you're getting very clear on what it is that you want and desire for a lot of you it's clarity that you're manifesting into your life and it is coming from within so whether you are meditating a bit more whether again you are just connecting to yourself a bit more with the magician you are bringing truth and you are being, bringing clarity into what it is that you're doing moving forward. For some of you, you could end up writing books. That's what I'm picking up on here, on whatever. Um, some of you are going to be, you know, speakers. Maybe that's something that you do, being healers. Some of you, your words are healing. I'm going to clarify the, the magician in the mirror and the healer of ages as well in a different deck because I'm very curious about these messages here. Um... The magician you're manifesting you're in a manifestation period you're not dealing with confusion or what if i never got it or what if i do like this confusion that our emotions can bring or that options can bring you being very tunnel vision you know you're bringing that tunnel vision and what it is that you're manifesting and desiring at this time which is what's going to bring it in so very powerful energy let's just look at the seven of cups just once eight of wands this is interesting you do have the eight of cups as well so for a lot of you it just feels like you are really going to be leaving behind any options that just don't resonate with you some of you might have a lot of love offers but if not this is just again like feeling a little bit unsatisfied with the options around you some of you will be creating those options for yourself eight of wands you are moving in the right direction all right so if you did go through a period of being confused or feeling a little bit lost or uncertain or stuck in your decisions or options knowing that you could make a decision you could move forward but no nothing resonates you know nothing feels aligned so you just didn't take that leap which is fine it's happened for a reason eight of wands coming through here says that life is going to be speeding up for you all right let's carry on let's see in november please you have the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups, amazing, and the Five of Swords. I'm just going to clarify the Five of Swords. The Empress, Ten of Swords, and the Judgment. Some of you, this could, again, you could be falling out with a mother figure or somebody, you know, who could be mothering your children or whatever. Here, let's see. You do have happiness coming through. So Ten of Cups is a very good positive card when it comes down to your emotions. You're feeling emotionally satisfied. Some of you could be spending time with your loved ones in November and this feels very lighthearted and fun. Ten of Cups is usually, you know, kind of reaching that point of happiness where you're like, I have everything that I need. So you could definitely be feeling very grateful uh, within the month of November. You have the Queen of Cups as well. So a very emotional month, which is interesting because in your present energy, you're super logical, not very attached to your emotions. In November, you will be. Queen of Cups is the empath. She is, again, a mothering energy, to be honest. So regardless of your gender, 
it just means that you have a very nurturing um, personality or somebody who does care about people a lot and maybe you know sometimes the boundaries can be crossed of how much maybe you care for people or how much you know people might take advantage of that so pay attention to your heart space but queen of cups is very intelligent emotionally intelligent she understands that there are layers to people she does not judge people so in the month of november you're very connected to her energy um we will clarify those clarify the ten of cups The wild card. So this, there's a new beginning and a new cycle where you're just super happy, which is amazing. Tend to the wild card. You will be repeating a new cycle. We will look into that in December. I wonder how that will show up for you guys. But you, you will reach a state of happiness where you're like, yeah, I'm like, I'm very happy with where I'm at. You will be looking at where you want to go next, though. To be honest, and I think that's just human nature to always want to look somewhere else. Um, but I feel like this moment of happiness that you have in November is going to really kind of bring about something that you want or desire, whether it's again, movement or travel Let's clarify the world. Six of pentacles. It could be like a philanthropy. You could be feeling very guided to be of service to people in the month of November. And that's this new beginning is a new start, a new fresh energy where you're just really giving to others at the time, at that time in November. Again, it could be a month of like charity, volunteering. It is karma, by the way. So what you do does come back to you. I know that's not the reason why we do it. But it is saying here that you're kind of really, some of you are definitely healing people who would not really have a chance without you putting something forward. So I just want to say here, Taurus, that you're, your presence, even though you might overthink it, it does matter a lot in people's lives here. And, and you might see that in the month of November, okay? Whether you're giving your time, your energy, your services, your yourself, I don't know, your money, whatever it is, um, it people really need that in the month of November, okay? And, like, and I feel like that's very emotional. It feels very emotional because one, I think you doubted yourself and your presence meaning anything to people and you could hear from people within this month saying that to you but also you're going to really see just how much you're helping others and i think that might bring some tears to your eyes in november okay queen of cups again something's going to make you very emotional let's clarify the queen of cups the strength card all right that's very beautiful that's somebody here with a very strong heart and i, I think that's you all right so with the strength card and the star card again I think a very big part of your purpose is growing in the month of November and you're connecting to it very deeply. It feels a very important month for you guys. Um, it may mean, again, it may be because of the things we just spoke about, really kind of discovering your purpose in November, really diving deep into it on an emotional level. The star card, even though it's Aquarius energy, Aquarius energy might mean here that you feel like your purpose is very unique, very different. In which case it definitely is again it is another card kind of about like community and giving back to community so again philanthropy uh acts of service volunteering charity work whatever it is that you're doing even if it's towards your friends it does feel like there is some very strong purpose around that with that strength card emotionally um you'll be feeling very you know i don't know like strong I don't know what else, what other word to um, to put with that because it just feels like it is what it is. You are feeling very strong and recognizing that your strength comes from your emotions. So that's very interesting. You were in this energy when you needed to be and that's the duality of life. Sometimes we need to be very cold and detached. Other times we need to be very warm and loving and open and um, nurturing. That's just, we're meant to change. We're not supposed to be in one way. So, you know, I feel like there is a very beautiful energy happening in the month of november it's very deep very emotional very cleansing i want to say maybe you are cleansing in the month of november but it feels very very cleansing like i'm just seeing beautiful waters just kind of washing over you and it's sparkling and it's it's very beautiful whatever it is it's very beautiful it's giving me goosebumps actually but you do have the five of swords the judgment and the empress here so for some of you, again, it could just be like some sort of disconnect between you and a mother figure. Whoever saw his judgment, okay, there could be some forgiveness. There's a release here going on with the Empress. Some of you, this could be your energy, Taurus. All right, you're releasing anything that may have held you back, may have stopped you from being in this abundant, um, nurturing energy with the Empress. Let's just clarify the Five of Swords once more. What it is at Taurus, what is Taurus letting go of in a month of November? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Swords. It does feel like you will be receiving a message here 
within a month. Could be from a Libra. Could be could be from any sign, to be honest with you. The Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords. This is something that you didn't quite expect unless, again, on an intuitive level, you did. But the Wheel of Fortune is usually about unexpected surprises. With the Knight of Swords, clarifying the Five of Swords, it just feels like this is not very good, to be honest. Like, maybe not good news. Um, again, it's not going to affect your purpose and all that beautiful energy that we have here, but it could just be showing you somebody's true colors. Um, it could just be news here that, you know, Somebody just is coming back to say another thing to you to try and knock you off. And that might be because you're in this Empress energy. Or even if you are just reflecting and maybe you guys are going to be the one to speak out. Because the Knight of Swords is about communication. It's something that will just come very spontaneously. It's just going to come out whether it's from you or somebody else. Who knows? But the way that you're taking it here, Taurus, Judgment and the Empress, there is forgiveness on your side. I think you will have gone through something so emotional in the beginning of November until the end that when this communication happens, even though it does knock you off guard and maybe your initial emotional response is whatever this person is saying is unfair or whatever, not true, whatever it is, you are going to kind of just look at it in a very like motherly perspective. You will forgive it. You'll see it like this person clearly has issues of their own. I'm not going to retaliate the way I usually would. Something very, very beautiful about your emotions are coming through. And it's the way you handle situations here that actually brings you in good karma. And it begins this new cycle of yours with the judgment. And actually will release you. Some communication will happen. Some news will happen. It doesn't feel like good communication, to be honest, with the five of swords. Somebody might say something that you don't like. Somebody might criticize you here, Taurus. Judgment, the Empress, you will kind of just dis disconnect. I'm seeing you with your hands up here going, clearly this is beyond me. Like you don't feel the need to engage in something. One, because it feels like maybe it's going to block what you've just really done for yourself, that inner work you've done. Some of you could just be healing from something again from the past and it might just come back and it's trying to pull you back down into that old space and you're not doing it. That you are kind of just releasing it and letting it go. Like you're saying, this is not to do with me. Like they're showing me an imagery here of like somebody so desperately wants to still be in your energy. I don't know for what reason, better for worse, who knows. But it's like I'm seeing somebody's trying to throw you that rope, which is like that connection to them. And maybe you already have detached from this person. Somebody's trying to throw you in a rope. And I just feel like you're not taking it. You're not taking what somebody wants to drag you back into you're not connecting to somebody who might want to reconnect with you like you're you're standing back very interesting one more for judgment and empress two of pentacles i think you're you're doing your own thing here Two of Pentacles, this falls like you are going to be starting two new things moving forward. Some of you guys could be balancing two streams of income, juggling two streams of income. Or again, you're making a decision about what you want to do moving forward and what you want to invest in. Some of you will weigh up whether you want to do something or not. But again, you will be forgiving. You will be kind of disconnecting from something with that Ace of Swords and you will speak your truth if necessary. But you're not going to be dragged into anything. And this makes sense for your regeneration. All right, let's go into the month of December for Taurus, please. You have the Emperor. All right, some of you, this, I don't know if this is supposed to be reversed, but some of you might, again, this could be to do with a father figure or again, like the Emperor feels like maybe you are letting go of the need to control some situations. And the Eight of Cups coming out with that as well may explain that. This is kind of letting go of things that just aren't, satisfying you anymore it, but some of you there's a big detox happening in december i'm kind of seeing like a decluttering whether that is people whether that is like actual energy whether that is again things that you were trying to control or it could be a father figure for some of you all right um something that you're trying to control or a, or a boss or anything the, the emperor is somebody of authority or a father okay um, but again, it could be your own energy where we're, again, trying to control things that maybe were out of our control. Or again, it could be somebody who is just super controlling in general. You are walking away. Eight of Cups doesn't serve you. We also have the Knight of Pentacles here. So some of you guys are definitely going like freelance, definitely being independent. Whether that's working for yourself here, guys. Knight of Pentacles. 
One thing I will say though with the Emperor Reverse, if you are trying to do something on your own, maybe that's what you're doing is walking away from a boss, ending something, it may not go well. If you are ending something with a boss here, by the way, and that email just explains it, um, but you will be very victorious moving away from that and very abundant, by the way. I just feel like somebody can't control you anymore, but you will be flourishing. The Nine of Pentacles is of independence. It's loving your own energy, being able to relax, chill out in December. Okay, anything else? The Seven of Wands. Again, you're fighting the good fight though, Taurus. Again, there might be a lot against you in December. You might have a lot of challenges or might be dealing with a lot of things at once. Seven of Wands just says to me that you will be successful despite how things look. All right? But December, please. Three Cups celebration. All right, which is good because it is a very... Um, it's the holidays, all right? So Three of Cups just says to me that you will have a few close people that you'll be celebrating with um, around the time of December. Hanged Man, this is very strong Piscean energy, right? With the moon on the bottom of the deck. You might be feeling like chilling, relaxing. Um, you might put yourself in a Hanged Man position, all right? To just see things very differently here. Page of Cups, especially emotionally, I think you guys are diving deep in December to fix some childhood wounds here or reminiscing on childhood. And the Ten of Wands, and that's something you'll be releasing. Maybe it's still affecting you now, maybe you're still holding on to uh, some resentment of the past, you know, towards family or towards some people. It does feel like you are going to be looking at it very differently. To a point where you will release everything that you've been holding on to for such a long time. And this is really going to help you moving forward. Especially in your finances. Especially in terms of your abundance. Very interesting. A very heavy release in December. Which is good because moving into the next year. That just only means incredible things for you. Alright. But it, it does mean that you do have to really sit and reflect on that. With that hanged man position. He puts himself upside down to look at things differently to see the world in a different light all right very intuitive and very observant in the month of um, december so let's get another deck to quickly clarify the magician in the mirror and healer of the ages all right clarify the magician in the mirror please spirit six of swords some of you may have already moved away from somebody who may have been quite you know manipulative for some of you Five of Wands. All right, this is definitely someone that you've been in conflict with. The Moon. Again, it's about somebody's secrets. Maybe things done in the dark or again, emotional. Magician in the Mirror, please. Some of you... Mm -mm. Oh my God, I just got something very quickly. Somebody... Uh, okay, I don't really do Twin Flame, but just a really big message just came here where somebody seemed like they were like the complete same as you. This could have been a friend or somebody, a, a lover, whatever. Somebody who you definitely connected with on a really deep level. Um, you know, they seemed like they were interested in the same things. They, they felt like they had the same purpose. You discovered, and that email just shows that you really discovered that somebody was not the same as you. On your side, you are the healer. You are the healer. You are the true healer. You are the true person to speak up and speak your truth. Somebody else tried to jump in on that or said, you know, they were the same. They were not, you know, they, they were not like you at all. And you really discovered that their true intentions, whatever they did, whatever they did to you, is going to be different for everybody. Very, very different. Very, very different. Very different person. I came in like... That was just a sudden epiphany. Maybe that's how it happened for you. Maybe it was just a sudden, like, this person is just not the same. They're not the same. It feels like an imposter, you know? Eight of Swords. All right. It's, again, something that you just did not see coming. Maybe they, again, maybe they had you stuck in their illusion. Yeah, the moon being clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, which is usually a good card, but again, it is about like unexpected things. So you did not expect something to come out the way that it did. All right, Three of Swords as well. It's again about heartache, pain, wounded warriors coming through here. So you guys definitely have been hurt. All right, by this person, you are on guard. Let's see on your energy though, because that's what it feels like this is. Taurus, this is your energy. Queen of Pentacles, a true abundance. All right, the true like healer, you know. Queen of Pentacles is very Virgo energy. The Queen of Wands too, guys. So you, you definitely are here to... Yeah, we have the Justice card here, so... 
all right all is fair in in the eyes of the universe as they say we have the queen of wands and a queen of pentacles so not only financially and like grounded wise you guys are getting stronger in that degree for a lot of you okay we have the bunny here which is about fertility so bringing things to life um whether this is how like this is just your energy so it feels like your future is very bright for a lot of you especially financially especially in terms of where your energy goes all right it feels like you will get rewarded for that and queen of wands again is about beauty um it's about beauty about confidence it's about having beautiful ideas being optimistic being positive some of you may have like spirit animal with you like i don't mean one that's past i mean one that's with you she got she has a beautiful cat here which is what keeps her protected you know you have knight of wands coming in so again you are like a seeker of um new things and this is what's good it's a good energy to have a sagittarius is again that optimistic approach sometimes can be quite naive so again we learn our lessons and we move forward taurus but again there is this like um curiosity within you that demands to be uh, acknowledged so feel free to travel when necessary like, it does feel like you are a seeker in your life uh, in this lifetime okay so make sure you are like exposing yourself to knowledge when necessary two of wands all right, it's saying again it's about movement think about the future you do the queen of swords she did come up reversed which is interesting so i feel like you guys will be putting an end to that queen of swords energy that we had here again five of swords and the eight of wands maybe that's somebody around you libra energy or somebody who's very cold somebody could be coming in again to say something to you but you know whatever you, let's see yeah five of cups it feels like somebody is just really disappointed I think they're a bit jealous to be honest there's somebody around you who tries to cut you down and you have to pay attention to who that person is all right we have the judgment here which is again truth and clarity and it came up when i was saying that queen of swords is being exposed they're disappointed they will say whatever to try and win because their ego wants it you know so much but at the end of the day who is the true kind of winner? Because if this person has to fake a personality to be someone, then that's just that's just disappointing, isn't it? All right, let's move forward. <laughs> so we definitely do have that regeneration energy coming up for you guys. It makes a lot of sense now. And now those uh, cards made sense. All right, let's go in. Let's get you some more oracles. We have confusion. This is something that you are currently going through. We did have that with the Seven of Cups. You will be cutting that out and letting go of anyone, Taurus, who is trying to bring that around or any energy is trying to bring that around. Again, did I say this? I think it was an Aries reading, actually, I said it, but mysticism, it does kind of feel like there is... Somebody might be still trying to keep like a, a comic tie to you. Mysticism, I don't, I don't want to say they're doing magic because that might not be the case, but they could be trying to manifest, you know, you in or or something in your life for you to still be in confusion don't take the rope don't actually engage in anything this person does i'm not saying that they're doing magic but in the in the law of the universe what they're saying to me is that even by engaging in somebody's energy they feed off of that so if somebody that you do not like is trying to get in your energy don't even engage them with an answer don't engage in it because you'll just be kind of taking the rope and it's just, yeah, I just feel like, not that it's magic, it just feels like energy is involved with that. All right, let's see. For Taurus, please, between now and the end of the year, you have to be fair, strong Libra and energy. This is really about balancing what's good for you and what's not. Again, that owl here just tells me that you guys have 360 vision <laughs> between now and the end of the year that you will be able to see absolutely everything. Everything. You can see through everything. It might put you in a point where you're like, well, where do I go moving forward? I, all my friends apparently are against me or whatever, you know, but you will be making the right decisions because you can also see what's good for you too around this time. So very big energy. Let's just get one of these. Let's get you an animal spirit. I'm only going to take the one that showed itself, which is the nightingale. We have love is all around. All right. We have this trumpet here. So you guys could be definitely he hearing uh, from the universe, being shown signs that you are loved. Some of you might have some spirit guys uh, in the spirit world here who are looking after you, who are spreading love to you as well. All right. Let's get you one of these. For Taurus. Fear. 
uh, the next few months is about letting go of fear okay and the affirmation for that for you guys is i realize that i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love and sometimes i can bring fear tell me i'm taking too long <laughs> all right let's di let's dive in the taurus all right definitely feels like there is a falling out with somebody you have chair empty someone is leaving your life you have dark woman this could be somebody with um dark complexion or dark hair that could be you that could be somebody that you're dealing with you do have grapes so time to go out and have fun we did see that in december but with that chair we do have lightning and broken wishbone so this says wish will not be granted control your anger or you'll be sorry with somebody leaving all right again somebody might try to get the last word in like i just feel like somebody is like they got a big ego that's what it feels like they got a very big ego which goes against everything that they say this person seems like the kind of person that speaks very you know spiritually like you know no ego but then you know they're the first one to bounce on something and argue you know rather than dealing with it properly they go against their own values values anyway i love you guys i wish you guys all the best i'm sending you my love huge changes for you taurus so i really do wish you the best between now and the end of the year happy halloween everyone again uh, and i hope to see you guys next time all right